Tesla is not the only car company preparing to build an all-electric pickup truck, although its new Cybertruck certainly is getting its fair share of attention. When and if it hits the marketplace, the Cybertruck will likely have to face some competitors, as numerous other automakers have announced plans to build and sell electric trucks in the near future. In this video, we've rounded up the growing field of EVs with cargo beds, both from well-established car companies and new startups. Now, that isn't to say that Tesla's truck can't hold its own against that competition, but it's only fair to take a look at the numbers to be sure. And that's precisely what we are going to do here. We are going to compare the Cybertruck against the Bollinger's B2, the Ford F-150, and Rivian's R1T on horsepower, torque, range, payload, towing capacity, and cost. We will start with horsepower and torque. These figures here are definitely stacked in favor of the electric vehicles, with the F-150's internal combustion engine option struggles to keep up. Now, Cybertruck's top trim packs three motors, and while Elon Musk didn't mention specific power figures, it will probably eclipse the Model S performance with its dual motor setup, and that makes 762 horsepower and 723 pound-feet of torque. By how much? It's anyone's guess. The Bollinger B2 is a very different take on the electric truck formula. It's focused on having incredible off-road talents and is less concerned with the outright power and torque. That isn't to say that it's not packing some real heat under its boxy body though. Bollinger claims a respectable 614 horsepower and 668 pound-feet of torque from its dual motor setup. The Rivian R1T is probably a more fair comparison to Tesla's truck, seeing as it's much more on-road focused than the Bollinger. While the company will, like Tesla, offer several motor battery combinations, the top spec truck will make 750 horsepower and 829 pound-feet of torque. Finally, we have the best-selling vehicle in America, the truck that seems to best suit the need of both private customers and fleet buyers, the Ford F-150. The most potent F-150 you can buy from the Blue Oval in terms of power is the Raptor, and its high-output turbocharged V6 makes a respectable 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. But in this crowd, that's no big feat. When it comes to people's perception of an electric vehicle, there is perhaps no figure more critical to a potential customer than range, even if in their daily life, most people won't go more than a couple of dozen miles. Here, the Tesla Cybertruck, with its claimed 500 miles of range on the top-tier tri-motor version, 500 miles is, frankly, an insane figure, and we would have to imagine that carrying around a battery pack big enough to make that possible would adversely affect other aspects of the vehicle's performance, namely handling and braking. After the Cybertruck comes Rivian's R1T. We thought that the brand's claim of a 400-mile range on its highest spec model were the stuff of science fiction when it was announced a little over a year ago, but in the months since, the company has shown off its pack design and we've been impressed. Still, as with the Cybertruck, that's still a lot of weight to be slinging around all the time. The Bollinger B2 is likely to be the most capable of our competitors off-road, but it's by far the least capable when it comes to cruising range. Despite having a reasonably sized battery pack rated at 120 kilowatt hours, Bollinger is only estimating that it will do 200 miles on a charge. Realistic? Yes. Impressive? Not really. Finally, the F-150 has a big gas tank and its engines are getting more efficient than ever. Range isn't really an issue, but just for prosperity's sake, the new six-cylinder power stroke diesel in the F-150 manages a cruising range of around 850 miles on a single 26-gallon tank of diesel. Payload and towing. Truck buyers are rightfully concerned about their prospective vehicle's ability to haul whatever and tow anything. That's why truck commercials on TV tend to be montages of stuff getting dumped into beds and ungainly looking objects getting dragged behind vehicles. So, when it comes to hauling and towing, how do our competitors do? Well, in the towing column, we have the Tesla claiming to be able to lug 14,000 pounds in the tri-motor trim. That handily beats out the Ford F-150, which in most capable format, two-wheel drive, super crew, 3.5 liter EcoBoost can haul 13,000 pounds. Next would be the Rivian, which claims 11,000 pounds, and the Bollinger once again in the last place, with the ability to tow just 7,500 pounds. Payload is a little trickier to talk about because only Ford and Bollinger list their numbers, but that doesn't mean we can't speculate. So, Ford's most capable configuration can take 3,270 pounds in its bed. The Bollinger, on the other hand, dwarfs that figure with a claimed capacity of 5,000 pounds. The Ford is able to gain ground back by being the only truck available with an 8-foot bed. The rest of the competition can only muster 6.5 feet of the bed length at best, though the Bollinger can cheat a little and expand its bed space by intruding into the cab, and that nets at 8 feet 2 inches of bed length. Tesla claims a bed, or vault, length of 6.5 feet and a total storage capacity of 100 cubic feet, but offers no weight capacity and doesn't elaborate on whether that 100 cubic feet of storage includes the front trunk. To its credit, Tesla's bed is capable of being fully sealed and locked thanks to its slide covering. Rivian's R1T doesn't offer a bed length figure nor bed volume. 
It does tell us that its unique gear pass-through tunnel and the front trunk together have a volume of 23.5 cubic feet. If we had to hazard a guess, we would say that Rivian's bed is smaller than that of a Honda Ridgeline, so don't plan on carrying full sheets of plywood if you opt for the Rivian. Though similar to a Tesla, it has a powered lock-in cover for its bed. Cost and Price Finally, we come to the question of cost. How much will each of these trucks cost to put in your garage when they hit the market? Well, when it comes to price, it should come as no surprise that the Ford F-150 is kin. It's available in almost Disney number of configurations, so odds are good that you will be able to find an F-150 that does what you want within your budget. The cheapest ones start at just $28,500, with the most expensive limited trim coming in at $67,500. That's a massive delta, but choice is good within. Next up would be the Tesla Cybertruck, but we do have to add a caveat. See, Tesla is saying that the base model rear-wheel drive Cybertruck will start at under $40,000, but we've seen this kind of talk from Tesla before. Remember that $30,000 Model 3? It took years to arrive and only stuck around for it seems like weeks. Tesla doesn't offer pricing for its more expensive Cybertruck trims, but we wouldn't be surprised to see them escape six figures. Rivian's R1T will start at $69,000 and will go up from there. The base Rivian will likely be reasonably equipped, but don't expect that 180 kilowatt hour battery pack and is promised 400 miles of range on that entry price. Again, Rivian hasn't broken out pricing for its more expensive models, but we also expect to see them touch the low $100,000 range. And finally, in the last place once again is the Bollinger B2 with a starting sticker price of $125,000. As mentioned before, you are getting a lot of off-road capability and rugged design for your money, but not a lot else. The B2 is a kind of a spiritual successor to the Hummer H1 truck in that way. One thing we opted not to discuss or weigh against each truck was styling. Clearly, each of the vehicles here has a very different idea of what a truck should look like, with Teslas being the most, shall we say, dystopian. One honorable mention that we didn't talk about in this video is not very known at all. It's the Lordstone Endurance. Details on this EV are very scarce, but the Endurance does promise 260 miles of range, a starting price of around $52,000, and delivery is starting towards the end of 2020. So, what do you think of this video? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.